I wanted to figure out, could this work in the United States? You know, it's not Europe, it's the United States, and there are some differences. Listen to this, there is a high-tech company called Detweiler, headquartered in North Carolina. It originates in Switzerland. They work with automation and robotics and custom machinery, and they are a huge supporter of the Swiss model apprenticeship program. I spoke with a man named Walter Siegenthaler. He went through the apprenticeship program when he was a young man in Switzerland. He is now the executive vice president of Detweiler, this international company, and he helped launch its apprenticeship program right here in the United States a few years ago, attracting training and hiring young people from their own backyard. Walter, could you tell me a little bit about your company and your apprenticeship program? It's a 40-year program, and most of, there are some exceptions, but most of our apprentices, we start them out with their senior year in high school. So the first year, they still have to go to high school, and half a day high school, half a day they work in the company, and then for after they graduate from high school, for three more years, they spend four days a week at the company, one day at the community college to get the uh, company education there. Uh, give me a sense, Walter, of, of what these uh, students, and I guess employees in a way, do when they sign up for the program? We do give them the basic training at first, so they have to learn to work with a file and hand, hand tools, have to use the hand tools. We get them trained on manual machining and so on uh, before they get into anything really deeper. And it's, it's a, I said, it, it's a very uh, rigorous selection process to make sure we get the right candidates because we wanted to have the candidates which are also going to stay with us after the apprenticeship right. program. How do you find those people who you see have promise and will stay with the company because you're making a huge investment in them? We like to see some hands-on things they do. Unfortunately, there are not that many vocational programs in high schools anymore. That's one of the problems. So, hey, if we have to find a student who works on his car, that's a positive sign already. Okay. And we spend about 200 hours with them before they start the apprenticeship program. So we get to know them quite well. Once they successfully complete these three years in your program, about what percentage go on to stay with the company? Well, uh, first of all, we guarantee them a job. Cool. As a completion of the apprenticeship program, but they are not obligated to stay with us. If they want to leave the next day, they can, but typically they don't. The exception is if they decide to go on and let's say get a mechanical engineering degree. So if they want to go to school, yeah, they may leave right then. You're, you're kind of proving in a way, uh, before most other people have even been talking or thinking about this, that things like the Swiss model can work here in the US. It's, it's a little bit modified, of course. It's not like an, a one-to-one, -one, uh, but when we started out as Apprenticeship 2000, we had a German company, we had an Austrian company, we had us as a Swiss and an American company. So we got all the information from Europe to say, okay, how is it done over there? And try to fit it in uh, that it fits the, the American uh, model here. And I said, we're doing it for more than 20 years, so I think it has proven that yes, it does work. What suggestions do you have for either young people looking to pursue this route or companies looking to give the opportunity to younger people? Obviously, for young people, what I always say is a four-year college is not for everyone. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, an apprenticeship program is not for everyone. But there are different options. And I think looking at the different career paths and an apprenticeship program is not a at uh, that end. It is a beginning of a career. How cool is Walter's office, by the way? Everyone wants an office in the woods. I thought that was so cool.